Hey everybody and welcome to an admittedly long overdue new episode of Uncut. My name is Billy of VK23 on Instagram and today I'm very excited about this episode for a couple of reasons. One, my commitment on Instagram to each of you for those who follow me at VK23 has always been to only promote the highest quality products available. Everything that I feature on my page is something that I own, something that I use on a daily basis, and something that I consider to be high quality. That said, I had taken that standard and decided that I wanted to try and do something unique and new, and so I created my own luxury brand, WR Raw. So today I'm gonna to feature one of my products, which is um, something that I took a lot of time designing, uh, something that I really wanted to create that was unique and functional, but also beautiful. The idea behind the brand is to create fairly affordable luxury goods that are functional pieces of art. I hope that the brand will include things uh, expanding outside of just the cigar industry. Uh, the plan is certainly for me to do leather goods. Um, there are some other ideas that I have that I will reveal to you guys soon, not only on my Instagram page, but certainly on my YouTube channel on Cut as well. So with that said, I would love to show you the first product in my line. Um, as I thought about what I could create that would identify something unique and missing in an already robust uh, cigar related accessory industry, lighters and cutters are, are a dime a dozen. There's a lot of them out there. Some are good, some are bad, um, but everybody's already got them. Um, there were a couple of other things that I thought about, cases and others, but the market is saturated. That doesn't mean that a case is not a... Uh, um, potential product that I would like to create in the future because I do think that there are some um, aspects of cases that have been neglected that I would like to kind of identify and uh, adjust accordingly to create a special product. What I did decide though was that I wanted to create a very high quality, ultra premium material, very unique and distinctive looking ashtray. And what I came up with for the first release, which is called the Avant Garde 2, is exactly that. This is a solid block of cast aluminum alloy. It's an anodized aluminum, so it will alleviate a lot of the fingerprints. Inside, though, is something special. This is actually a real Indonesian python inlaid into the material. As you can see, it accommodates cigars from a 42 ring gauge up to a 64 ring gauge, which is fairly large, considering most people won't smoke anything that big. Um, it also allows you to have uh, a cigar insert that will accommodate cigarettes or anything else of a smaller Vitola that you would like to use. When I was designing this though, again, the idea was to create a very sleek, very unique, functional piece of art. I took 10 months designing and prototyping this uh, until I was very happy with the design. Um, you'll notice as you, as you look closer, and I will show you some pictures of, of this and the second version, that all of the edges are slightly beveled to ensure that there's a snag-free um, sharp edge free cut. Um, all of the interior is rounded for easy cleaning. The packaging is beautiful. It comes with a microfiber, it's actually a very thick microfiber cloth that will allow you to turn this over, dump it out. You can wet the cloth and wipe out the ashtray. But the Python is absolutely to me the epitome of luxury and I thought that this would be a great first offering. There will be future offerings of this in a uh, couple of other iterations. Um, the second version of this is actually very special. You'll see it in some of the photos. But it is made out of a forged carbon material. So you'll see that on a lot of the exotic cars. The Lamborghinis, the Ferraris, the Bugattis have now transitioned over to a more exotic looking forged carbon. And that second offering is exactly that. So. Visit the uh, website at wrroth.com to take a closer look. You can also go to my Instagram page. But I was excited about the opportunity to present this to you guys. It is a solid desktop uh, ashtray that is beautifully crafted. Um, it's made in the United States, which I'm very proud of. A little more expensive, but obviously it also allowed me the opportunity to have my hands on the entire quality control experience. They're hand assembled, and the feel is is truly just incredible. So take a look at the website. You can look at the Instagram page as well, um, w.r.roth.com, uh, excuse me, at wrroth.com. Um, but I, I hope that you guys appreciate this. So that said, the next thing we're going to talk about today, I'm equally passionate about. 
I get a lot of questions about some of my photographs, um, some of my table setups, and some of the things that I enjoy pairing. And uh, you don't see too many pairing videos, so I thought today that we would do just that. There's a couple of things that I really truly enjoy when it comes to cigars. There are so many nuances of cigars and so many ways to affect your palate and the overall flavor and taste of a cigar. You've obviously got the wrapper, you've got the specific Vitola, you've got the tobacco that they use from whatever marca has created that cigar, um, in regards to Cuban cigars especially. Um, the other thing though is something as simple as the way that you cut your cigar. In one of my previous videos we talked about the difference between the way that the smoke from a punch versus a V cut versus your traditional guillotine cut affects the flavor of your cigar. Today we're going to talk a little bit more in depth about how your pairings do the same thing, um, things to look for in, in a complementary pairing, maybe some things to stay away from as well. So on the table, and I'll give you a close-up view, are a couple of my favorite pairings. My personal favorite, regardless of the cigar, has always been a great well-made cappuccino. There is something about the warmth and richness and just thick with the foam and the coffee. It's an exceptional pairing. Um, if you're not a cappuccino fan or you like your coffee black, there are so many great coffees out there from Oakenbahn to Nespresso to Starbucks. Um, just like craft cocktails, you've got a million different iterations of coffee that you can pair with. And if you typically tend to just smoke a cigar and not drink anything with it, I suggest that you definitely try a cappuccino first and then a black coffee. Um, to get an idea of, of some of the, the different tastes, and again, you hear me use the word nuances because that's really what the experience creates. It's these little subtleties that are notes from your cigar that you may not have picked up just smoking it traditionally with nothing to drink. So coffee is, is near and dear to me. I, I thrive on it. I need it. Um, I do like some of the uh, sweeter drinks, the um, white chocolate mochas, you know. But again, all great pairings. But the classic cappuccino or an espresso or a black coffee, pair wonderfully. Next up on my list, again, if you follow my page, you know I am a huge fan of port. Port wine is a very sweet, very sugary, very rich wine. Um, it is a dessert wine or an after-dinner aperitif almost, um, or a digestive. Um, but something about that heavy plum, heavy raisin, um, very sugary uh, experience is such a nice synergy with the cigar. Now it's important to keep in mind when you're pairing your cigars, you definitely want to uh, pair the flavor profile of the cigar with something that does not overwhelm or overpower the cigar. For example, a Monte Cristo number no. two is a very medium bodied, um, very pleasant, mild Cuban, classic robust, you know, or classic. Uh, flavor, palette for a Cuban cigar, and certainly an essential, in my opinion, for anybody that wants to delve into the Cuban world, as it really appeals to the, the beginner all the way up to the aficionado. Something like that could easily be overwhelmed by a peaty um, or robust scotch or, or whiskey, whereas you smoke it with a porter or coffee, and the experience is incredible. Um, keep in mind, as you're smoking your cigars or picking your cigar to pair, the, the full body nature of the cigar may, again, not mesh well with something like a, um, a, a rum or a, a, a mild, non-spicy, non-robust flavored pairing. So you may want to take a more full body cigar and pair that with more of a meal, a, a steak and potatoes, something hearty and rich. The idea is to enhance the experience. Um, you don't want to ruin it and it can be easy to ruin an experience in regards to your pairing because if your meal is, is too overpowering, the, the flavor of the cigar can, can be affected negatively and vice versa. If your cigar is overpowering, the flavor of your cocktail, your old fashioned, your craft cocktail um, is certainly overpowering as well. The other thing that you'll see a lot, and, and these are just a couple of um, the most common pairings, you can pair with anything. That's the beauty. Everyone's palate is different. Everyone's palate is unique. There are a thousand other incredible things. And, and again, I've said craft cocktails a couple of times, but I love a good craft cocktail, a 
uh, rosemary maple bourbon sour or just your classic standard old fashioned. Something about the experience of that sweetness with a cigar pairs so well. If you do like sweeter, obviously port um, some of the rums, especially uh, uh, the Cuban rums and, and others pair wonderfully. Uh, it, again, if you like a sweeter palate drink, you can also go for a liqueur. Grand Marnier, especially chilled, is an incredible pairing. I will say this though, you see a lot of people with a cognac or a Grand Marnier, um, something sugary uh, liqueur, dipping their cigars. I'm not a big fan of that. I actually think that a wet cigar tends to burn much hotter and you get more of that burnt, um, uh, real hot smoke that is just very bitter on the tongue. Um, so it looks cool on TV. If you're James Bond, maybe it works for you. Not something that I personally suggest you do. If you are a more robust drinker or you prefer something a little more simple or more accessible than some of the others, whiskey is obviously an exceptional standard pairing. You do want to take into account again though, how robust the flavor of your whiskey is compared to the cigar that you're smoking. You know, a good Fuente Opus X or a good Monte Cristo Edmundo. Um, really so many great cigars out there pair well with the whiskey because of that complex flavor and all of the different spices and how it was aged in the barrel. And that's the account with every one of these. Um, each provides a unique experience in that the way that it sits on your palate affects the way that that experience or taste from that particular cigar and pairing um, uh, resonates for you. So a couple of other common pairings. Chocolate with a cigar is incredible. That rich coating on your tongue with a cigar uh, opens up a lot of the flavor of not only the chocolate but also the smoke as the smoke and the that, that dense thickness from the chocolate intermingle on your tongue the experience is is one of a few that honestly can kind of put you back in your seat and go man I never thought that chocolate would be so good with a tobacco um, you've also got in my opinion one of the best pairings out there, a combination of several things, a great charcuterie. So a great charcuterie goes a long way. You've got the sweet and salty from the prosciuttos and the salamis. You've got a, a thousand different types of cheeses that you can pair it with, um, but the cheese, the nuts, the meats, the chocolates, honeys and fruits, the, the savory, the salty, the sweet, um, all of those things combined for that unique experience. So I'm going to show you a couple of things that I love to pair with, tell you why, show you some of my favorite um, whiskey, scotch, liqueur, rum pairings as well, and then we'll talk more about that. So let's take a closer look. Okay, so as I mentioned, you've got a couple of different standard pairings. You've got your chocolates. I definitely suggest that you try uh, a dark chocolate versus a milk chocolate. Try some flavored chocolates, which are always good. Um, the, the combinations of all of the different pairings, there's millions and millions of different possibilities. But again, these are just the standard pairings that I think become the most enjoyable, the most easily accessible, something that you typically have around the house that you can sit down outside and enjoy. Uh, the Oaken Bond, great coffee if you've not tried it. I am definitely a fan. Um, I do, though, again, just a great Starbucks or a cappuccino is always nice. One of my favorite ports in the world is the Penfolds 20 Grandfather. There is something special. It's aged in oak. I believe, if I'm not mistaken, that it's a, a Solera aging process. So it's aged in several different types of uh, um, storage. Uh, but it is reminiscent of a very smooth whiskey. It definitely has a little bit of that um, oakiness. And the, the, the sweetness creates that savory, sweet and salty. Um, but the beautiful raisin flavor, grape flavor, and the, the plum that you get uh, certainly adds to the experience as well. If you're a Havana Club fan, you can't go wrong with the Maestros. There are so many great Havana Club rums. Um, it, it's almost a pairing made in heaven. It's got just enough of that alcohol content where you get a little bit of the burn, but it's got the sugar cane and the sweetness that allows you to really truly enjoy um, the best of what uh, Havana has to offer you. And then the Grand Marnier. So this is actually the uh, Louis Alexander. It's a little bit sweeter. It's got a little bit of a um, uh, uh, alcohol um, and orange essence that's not as overwhelming as some of your other 
Grand Marnier. I, I would describe this as much more refined version, but chilled or not, it is a wonderful pairing with a very medium bodied cigar. Uh, anything too full body or robust, uh, something with a pepper to it, it certainly might be a bit overwhelming. The Hibiki 12 is your uh, uh, classic Japanese whiskey. The Japanese whiskey pairs wonderfully with the cigar because it is a bit more uh, smooth and mild and unique than some of the other classic scotches or whiskeys. Um, so these are just a few of, of my suggestions of things to try. Again, the beauty of it is pairing a cigar is all about creating a new experience, uh, identifying some new aspects of a cigar and a combination of cigar and whatever it is that you're eating or drinking um, to complement one another. Uh, they should never conflict. If you taste something and it just doesn't taste right together, move on to something else and, and give that a shot and see what you think. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Keep in mind, there are an unlimited number of incredible pairings, whether it be a pairing with dinner, a pairing with breakfast, something at lunch, you've got the coffees, the whiskeys, the rums, the tequilas, which you get into. There are thousands of different combinations, which is really what makes smoking cigars and pairing them with a meal something special. You can try something, add one additional piece of chocolate or a different type of nut or a different type of cheese, and it's an entirely new experience, which really does make this process fun. Um, it's absolutely infinite. I hope that you take the opportunity to try and create pairings that add to the already pleasant experience of smoking some of your favorite cigars. Be sure to follow uh, my page at BK23. Also, my new company page, WR Roth, it is at w.r.roth on Instagram. And the website is www.wrroth.com. That said, I did want to announce to all of my YouTube and Instagram followers that I am going to be doing a giveaway with Politics of Life, one of my favorite podcasts uh, and blogs. Um, we are going to be giving away the WR Roth Avant Garde limited edition. There are only uh, 50 of these are being made. Each is going to be individually numbered. Um, again, the packaging is exceptional. We're going to be giving away one of these. We're going to be giving away one of my favorite pairings, one of the Havana Club rums, and I'm going to throw in a cigar from my private collection to the winner. All you have to do is follow WR Roth on Instagram and Politics of Life. That's it. Super easy. Um, Beginning of the month of November, we're going to do a special live podcast uh, from D.C., and we'll pick a winner on there. You have to be following me, and you have to be following Politics of Life. So take a look. Here's Politics of Life Instagram page and mine. Go follow us both and enter for the chance to win this beautiful, unique, one of 50 produced Indonesian Python WR Roth ashtrays, as well as some great Cuban rum and an exceptional Cuban cigar. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you thought of the video. Let me know what your favorite pairings are. Always looking to try something new. And give me some ideas for some great new content. I've got a couple of new reviews coming up, a couple of exciting products that I want to show you that have been sent to me to review. Um, and love the opportunity to be a resource. You can always message me on Instagram. Um, but please be sure to support the people that support you. Go take a look at my uh, new website, my new company, WR Roth. I'm grateful for each of you guys. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.